Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. I am Dr. Mohan Mansal. In this class, we are going to discuss about the classifications of the signal, which is a part of the signal sense system. So, just we start. Signal can be classified based on their nature and characteristics in the time domain. Here, we will discuss about the continuous time and discrete time signal, analog signal and digital signals, even and odd signals, periodic and non-periodic signal, deterministic and random signal, energy and power signal. But in this video, we will cover these two topics, continuous time and discrete time signal and analog and digital signals. Okay, so just we look at look at on the continuous time signal. A signal that is specified for a continuous value of time t is a continuous time signal. So we can pick any time for the continuous time signal. And this signal can be defined at the entire interval range from A to B, where A can be minus infinite and B can be infinite. Just look at on the signals. Here we can see that the decaying exponential signal, decaying exponential sinusoidal signal, the signal is continuous in the time. Signal is continuously varying. And here in the other right hand side signal, we can see that the signal is defined between minus 5 to minus 1 and this signal is continuous here. So this kind of the signals are in the category of the continuous time signals and value of this signal is zero out of this range. I mean out of my greater than minus one and less than minus five. This kind of the signals are comes under the category of continuous time signal. Now look at on the discrete time signal. A discrete time signal is specified for a discrete value of time t is discrete time signal the signal is usually taken at equally space interval of time so here you can look at on that signals the signal is defined at equal interval of time sequence is not defined between these two time periods so here this kind of the signals are discrete time signal and we can get discrete time signal from the continuous time signal by sampling by discretizing the continuous time signal we can get the discrete time signal here you can see the right hand side figure this is the discrete time cosine signal it is defined at the integer value of the n so this kind of the signals are the discrete time signal just look at on this signal this is the continuous time sinusoidal signal and uh, lower one is the discrete time signal, which is the uh, sinusoid, sinusoidal signal. Here we are getting by taking the samples at some interval. So we are getting discrete time signal. Okay. So we have some examples for the discrete time signal and continuous time signal. Continuous time signals are telephone signals, speech signal, what we speech. The speech signal is continuously varying. Uh, so this kind of the signals are the continuous time signal and examples of discrete time signals are measuring the temperature at particular time intervals or measuring the temperature minimum or maximum of a day or measuring the opening and closing price of the sensex. These are the examples of the discrete time signal. Let's if we measure temperature minimum temperature of a day. So we are measuring temperature at equal interval each day we are measuring so just like that if we draw temperature graph for discrete time signal let's say this is the n n is the notation representation for the discrete time signal and today temperature is near about let us assume we have uh, 25 degree temperature which is the minimum temperature let's tomorrow temperature will be 25.5 that will be the minimum so day after tomorrow it may be again 25 so we are measuring at regular interval of time so this kind of the category is the discrete time signals now how do we get the discrete time signal from the continuous time signal let us assume we have this is the continuous time signal we want to discretize it for that we need to use the sampler sampler is a technique to convert the analog signal or convert the continuous time signal to the digital discrete time signal so in the input we have some analog signal or continuous time signal if we use a sampler sampler it works like a switch when switch will close we'll get the output when switch is open we'll not get the output so sampler will work like a switch by which we can get the output sequence 
that will be the discrete time sequence now we talk about the analog and digital signal in the continuous signal or discrete signal we talk about at the time axis or x axis but in the analog and digital signal we'll talk about at the y axis or amplitude level if signal whose amplitude can take any value in continuous range now here we'll talk about the amplitude level this axis if this axis is continuous if this axis is continuous signal will be analog signal okay on the other hand a digital signal if amplitude level is discretized in this way like that we can take output at some interval level so the output level amplitude level is discretized here so this will be the digital signal so here we have some examples of the analog signal and digital signal you can see that our output or amplitude level is continuous here amplitude level is continuous we can get any value of the continuous time signal and here in the digital signal we can, we are getting only two possible value one and zero so this is the digital signal now difference between continuous discrete analog and digital signal in the continuous time signal here you can see that this signal is continuous this signal is continuous varying in time as well as this signal is varying continuously in amplitude as well so this signal will be called as analog continuous time signal and on the v here we can see that this signal is continuous in time this signal is continuously varying continuously it is moving in the time but output level we have amplitude level we have only one and zero or one and minus one amplitude level we have only one and minus one so it is discretized at two level so this is the digital signal continuous time and in the c here we can see that amplitude is continuously moving amplitude is not discretized but time is discretized here so this is the analog discrete time signal this signal is the analog discrete time signal on the other end in the last part we can see that we have amplitude level is one or minus one so it is digital signal and time axis is discretized here we can see time axis is discretized so this is the digital discrete time signal so that we have seen in this go in this uh, today's tutorial in this tutorial so what we have seen continuous time signal discrete time signal analog signal digital signal so just i'll repeat continuous time signal is a signal when time is continuously varying we can take any value at any time interval but in the discrete time signal we can take value at only integer number of the time axis like the n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 so here this c and d are the example of a discrete time signal analog signal we talk about at the amplitude level or y axis if amplitude level is continuously varying that means it is the analog signal if analog amplitude level is discretized at two or three or four intervals discretized as four levels so that signal will call as digital signal thank you for watching this video